The next one is two state data types. System Verilog introduces several two state data types to improve simulator performance as well as the memory usage. Like typically we used to have four state previously, but that is changed into two states. So we have uh, typically four signed uh, value signed uh, types for a two state data type like int, byte, short int, long int. We have a bit which is single bit and 32-bit uh, unsigned integer, this uh, declaration comes under 32-bit unsigned integer and int unsigned, uh, this can be declared as 32-bit unsigned integer and the fourth one is int byte short int long int integer time and real. So we will be seeing demo on these particular data types uh, uh, in the EDA playground. So one thing worth noting here is uh, can you use byte instead of logic this one hardware designers should be careful as the new types are signed variables and so a byte variable can only count up to 127 but not 255 it it, it has a range from minus 128 to 127 so you could use byte unsigned but that is more verbose than the uh, this declaration and one thing worth noting is your hardware may drive x or z and your test bench uh, might convert them into two state values and you may never know about this thing don't try to remember about the converted 0 and 1 instead always check for the propagation you have a task called as is unknown is unknown port equal to equal to 1. If this thing uh, happens, uh, like this is uh, indication for the four state variable. If this thing returns true, is unknown returns true, then it is the symbol that it is driving a four state val value. Now let's try to see the demo of two state uh, data types. So I am naming the module, module as two state a type. So let's uh, declare all the data types that we have here. So this is basically the single bit, and the next one is bit bit type, which is taking uh, thirty-two bits. Thirty-two bits. This is thirty-two bit. unsigned integer next one is mm. this is also a to bit So we have to save semicolon at the end. Int i, which is 32 bit signed integer by e8. This is 8 bit signed integer. Next is short skin. Eight bit sign and the This is basically 16 bit, 16 bit signed integer. Next one is long again. This is 64 bit signed integer. This is double precision scoring. Floating cost. 
so these are all the uh, two two state data types that we have seen till now a bit is a single bit and if you take range then it is 32 bit unsigned integer and if you take an unsigned uh, declared it as int unsigned it will be 32 bit unsigned integer and if you haven't mentioned any uh, thing prefix to this uh, variable then it is simply 32 bit signed integer then byte 8 uh, byte some variable then it is 8 bit signed integer short int long int real so these are all the two state uh, now let's try to in, uh, assign some values to these uh, variables and try to print those uh, values so I am just I can take such one bit say b32 take when loss but take uh, the highest value maybe to make your scene if it is putting on I think I have uh, given the correct number of values. So this is the maximum value we are taking here. So let me take minus 100 uh, to see here. Uh, sign integer can be negative, right? So let's see uh, how this works. Add and be it can be. I screen. And this can take a big like this thing. Come on, that's here. I am taking the maximum possible value. to see if it, it can accommodate the value or not. So these are the values that I'm considering here and let, let's now try to display each of these uh, values. So to, uh, let's first print a normal bit value. Here you need to mention the format specifier as percentage B for this one. And let me take this again, copy paste. This is for 32 bit, so let me give that value. B32. The format specifier changes here to percentage which and the value is B32. Again, let me paste here. And I'm sorry. The format specifier for to unsigned uh, integer is u percentage u. So I'll be taking that according thing. Next one is any. Most of you know that for int it is percentage d. In straight away take that as the format specifier and the next one is byte b8 the format specifier for byte also is percentage d 
so V8. So the next one is short int. Short int S. The format specifier for short int is also percent D. So we'll be giving that more. And the next one is long int. That's there will be slight deviation for uh, long int, it will be 0 to g and delete and for real it will be percentage if most of you know that maybe most of you knew that in this game so it will give percentage m so I think we were almost uh, finished so here we need to uh, call the system task finish to forcefully exit the simulation and finally end module. So let me go through once if I was uh, making any mistake. Here I have named the module and declared all the two state uh, variables using each of those data types. And in initial begin, uh, in begin initial block, I have assigned the values for all these uh, variables. And at the end, I called finish to exit the simulation forcefully. And direct uh, at the end, I have called the module. Let's try running and see the output. So if you if you can observe the values here, uh, bit is taking one bit, and this value is taking the maximum possible value and uh, assigned integer is taking minus 100 and minus 1 all these values were taken and they were printed accordingly so these are all the two state uh, data types that we have uh, talked about previously